number one. Head suspended. Head suspended. That's correct. Number two. Uh, Close chest, chest lift chest. back. Correct. Number three. Loosen waist. Yes. Number four.
and out, in and out, in and out. In and out, in and out. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got it. I got it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, we'll joke about that too with instructors. It's the minute we think, wow, I am really in the zone. And no, you're not. Because the minute you realize that, the zone is gone. It's just gone. So, yep, normal. In and out, in and out. Any other observations or comments? One question about uh, clearing the hands at uh -huh. the end. Are you facing forward or sideways? No. Oh, you mean crossing hands or, or the? Yeah, crossing hands. So, no, no, clearing the hands. So once you've done this, the, the yeah. withdraw and push? Well, uh, head instructor Fig always calls it, you know, clear the hands. So that's what I do. That's the hidden hand punch. It's at the front. You do clear the hands. That's, a, that's an instruction. The name is withdraw and push, but you clear the hands to withdraw and push. So I'm here in hidden hand punch. Yes. And I clear this hand yes. in order to do withdraw and push. So right. this, and this move is called withdraw and push. Okay, the withdraw and push when you're mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. is your body at an angle or are you facing forward? I turn a little bit more to the left mm -hmm. oh. in order to slip this hand I'm here. Yeah. In order to slip this under, I turn a little oh. more to the left. Does oh. that make sense? Yeah, I've never noticed that. Before. Yeah, so the question is how do you clear the hand at the end of hidden hand punch it's in order to do withdraw and push. So I'm here and I'll turn a little bit more and then I, I don't really move this arm. I just, by turning, it naturally wants to slip under a little bit. So I turn my waist a little bit more to the left. Then I withdraw, and this is that clearing the hand that you'll hear us talk about to do that push. Does that help? Yes, ma'am, thank Excellent. you. Excellent. All right. Nice. All right. Yeah, we can do it one more time. We're a little bit over time, but I know we got some. Basic went long. This was a long explanation, and I don't want to cheat any kind of cheat time. So again, stillness and movement. Stillness in motion 
transition <coughs> stopping. Still just turn to the stopping. Kind of quick antidote, antidote, anecdote. <laughs> COVID on the brain, everything's an antidote. Um, we had a few years back, we had some students testing for black sash who had been told by helping, trying to help them get ready for their black sash test, uh, had been told by a very senior student that they needed to make their 108 young form be at least 30 minutes. <laughs> and and they, t which is, that's appropriate for someone who's been training for 10, 15 years, totally. Uh, and that group prided themselves that they were going to meet that 30 minute uh, time limit. It was the most excruciating thing to watch, and it was the most excruciating thing I think they've probably ever done in their whole lives. Uh, they made it for 30 minutes, but it was not Tai Chi. It was very tense, excruciating, wiggly, just willful movement to make that 30 minute arbitrary. That was too much for somebody training for three to four years. It's too much. Um, so, you know. We were all just, oh my God, these poor people, <laughs> you know, we're grading them going, oh, this is hard. So at the end, we're like, okay, can we see the third section as if you did not have a 30 minute time limit? And then it was beautiful. So that's kind of what I mean by that stillness and movement for where you are at your training. Go as slow as you can without breaking your Tai Chi, whether it becomes stops or it becomes its muscle will and, and brain and grit that's making you go slow instead of being able to move swiftly, quietly, comfortably, because uh, that's the goal. You know, Tai Chi isn't supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to be comfortable. So that's, there's, there's a broad brushstroke there. You do not have to make this be as slow or the better for where you are is the short version of that. Does that make sense? All right. So, life skill. Dragon. Path of self magic requires a creative spirit. A creative spirit has no self doubt. The path of self magic requires a creative spirit. A creative spirit has no self doubt. The path of self magic requires a creative spirit. A creative spirit has no self doubt. Now to intermediate and beginner level students, students watching at home, the lack says training is dismissed. Good job.